In the wake of the collapse of three banks in just four days, many people are understandably feeling uncertain about the level of trust that should be placed in banks and financial institutions. However, one surprising beneficiary of the turmoil has been cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin, in particular, rallying strongly. Bitcoin maximalist Michael Saylor has been quick to capitalize on the situation, taking to Twitter to troll those who doubt the future of Bitcoin. In a series of tweets, Saylor made the case that Bitcoin is a bank that cannot fail, and that in the aftermath of the recent bank collapses, more and more people will come to see the value of Bitcoin. Saylor's argument is that Bitcoin offers a level of security and reliability that traditional banks simply cannot match. Unlike banks which can lend out, invest, gamble, dilute, debase, freeze, or even seize your assets, Bitcoin operates independently of any centralized authority or institution. It works 24 7 365 days a year, and is accessible to anyone with an internet connection anywhere in the world. Furthermore, Saylor argues that Bitcoin is unstoppable, meaning that it cannot be shut down by governments, regulators, or anyone else. This is due to the fact that Bitcoin is decentralized, meaning that it is not controlled by any single entity or organization. Instead, it is run by a network of computers around the world, all working together to process transactions and maintain the integrity of the system. Of course, it's worth noting that Bitcoin is not without its own risks and drawbacks. Its value can be highly volatile, and it is not yet widely accepted as a means of payment in the same way that traditional currencies are. However, for those who are willing to take the risk, Bitcoin offers a compelling alternative to traditional banking and financial institutions. The recent bank collapses serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of the current financial system and the potential benefits of decentralized alternatives like Bitcoin. While it remains to be seen how much trust people will ultimately place in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, it's clear that they are increasingly being viewed as a viable alternative to traditional banking and financial institutions. The cryptocurrency market experienced a significant rally on Monday as the U.S. government took steps to protect depositors of the collapse Silicon Valley Bank SVB, and SBC acquired the lender's U.K. arm. According to data from CoinMetrics, Bitcoin rose by 5% to $24,374.68, while Ether surged by 2% to $1,585.58. The overall cryptocurrency market gained more than $70 billion on Sunday, jumping back above $1 trillion on Monday. This rally comes after a tumultuous week for the crypto market, marked by the collapse of Silvergate Capital, a major lender to the crypto industry. Silvergate announced on Wednesday that it was winding down operations and liquidating its bank. Then, on Friday, Silicon Valley Bank collapsed, marking the biggest banking failure since the 2008 financial crisis. Both Silvergate and SVB invested in U.S. Treasuries, which lost value as the U.S. Federal Reserve raised interest rates. These banks were forced to sell these bonds at a loss to shore up their capital position. On Sunday, regulators closed down Signature Bank, a major lender in the crypto industry, to stem any contagion to the broader banking sector. However, U.S. government's move to create a backstop for SVB and protect depositors in these institutions has boosted investor confidence. On Sunday, the U.S. Treasury, Federal Reserve, and Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation announced that depositors of SVB would have access to all of their money starting on Monday. Depositors at Signature Bank will also be made whole. Given the Fed announcement over the weekend of a backstop for banks and specifically Silicon Valley Bank, markets have turned euphoric knowing that depositors' money is safe and a major potential bank run has been averted, said Vijay Ayar, Vice President of Corporate Development and International at crypto exchange Luno, in an email to CNBC. This rally in the cryptocurrency market is yet another reminder of the volatility and unpredictability of these digital assets. As the market continues to mature, it will be interesting to see how regulators and financial institutions adapt to this new asset class and its unique risks. Adding to that, ASBC said it had agreed to acquire the UK arm of SVB for £1, $1.21. The UK Treasury said Monday that no taxpayer money is involved and customer deposits have been protected. According to CNBC's Jim Cramer, Silicon Valley Bank's demise was a result of poor communication, a cool hand Luke situation. The bank lost a significant amount of value due to the Federal Reserve's rapid interest rate hikes, but failed to notify investors. Furthermore, the bank did not indicate how many startup equity-backed loans it had, causing further concern for investors. Kramer explained that this collapse could have been prevented as there's nothing more deflationary than the downfall of a heavily indebted bank. The impact of this failure to communicate is not limited to the bank alone, it could have a ripple effect on the growth economy and venture capital firms. Therefore, Kramer suggests that the Federal Reserve will have to be careful with its next steps to avoid any further collapses. 
It is no surprise that Michael Saylor would come up with very strong bragging rights as Bitcoin has proved during this tumultuous time to be the beacon of stability and cryptocurrencies in general are also rallying in the wake of the collapse. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in America. We allow you to invest in your favorite cryptocurrencies without worrying about taxes. That's right. iTrust Capital allows you to buy and sell your favorite cryptocurrencies completely tax-free. That means if you invest $10,000 into Cardano and it grows to $100,000, all of your profits are tax-free. Why is it tax-free? We took the existing retirement account industry and flipped it on its head. Instead of boring stocks and bonds, you can invest in crypto. How is it secured? Through Coinbase Custody, one of the leading cold storage providers with a $320 million insurance policy to protect against theft, hacks, and loss of funds. Roll over your existing retirement account, or even start a new one from scratch. Questions? Schedule a free call with one of our crypto retirement account specialists, and they can help you discuss your options. Start your crypto IRA today and retire early, only at iTrust Capital. Click the link in the description to open a free account now. What do you think of the adaptability of cryptocurrencies after these series of bank runs? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.